Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, Malkavian Edition, brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. So, this over here is our blood pool as we're being pointed out, and basically that allows us to use our vampiric powers, which we are currently on blood heal. If we uh, scroll through, we've got Auspex, Hysteria, Mass Hallucination, and Obfuscate. Oh, we also have Blood Buff. Uh, blood Buff, I believe, increases strength and maybe a few other uh, things. I can't remember quite what it was off the top of my head. But anyway, we shall uh, go to feed on humans. And uh, right here it's showing us that a uh, secondary bar will appear, which is the victim's blood pool. If we drain them dry, they're dead, and uh, we will lose what is called humanity. If you notice up here, we've got our little humanity bar, which should have uh, seven beads in it currently, um, with a maximum of ten. The lower you get, um, the closer you get to being uh, frenzied pretty easily. Uh, also, if you lose all your humanity, then uh, what's called the beast takes over, and you pretty much become a wild animal. And that's about it. Your life story is over. Mmm, thanks for the tasty red treat. Just like cherries. Don't worry, sir. I'll only leave you dazed. I feel I something. See in your eyes, you're a born again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about, right there. Like a strawberry milkshake. So spooky. And when do I get to choose the color of my cape? All right, now you got the blood. You're feeling all kick-ass. Feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. Ooh. All kindred. Kindred. That's a our word for vampire. I see. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Tell me this tale, oh smiling Jack. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. Ooh. That's no sure bet, but still a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. I wouldn't mind living forever. There's quite a bit you could learn over that lifetime. So, do you think my lifeline will go on forever? Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, it's worthless. Ha. A cross, pff, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> nice. Steak, only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. That happened Run earlier. Water, eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire, Yuck. that's real trouble. Damn. Sunlight, well, you get to sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Well, I never really liked the sun anyway. It always gave me bad sunburns. Okay, now. What the fuck is this? I don't know, Jack. You get inside here and head upstairs. Okay. Meet up the bed. Alright, Jack. I'll see you later. So now we're basically being told that when we see the door icon, we can uh, use the door to open it. Lovely way to open the door. Use it. So uh, now they're teaching us how to jump, which... This part always seems to give me some trouble for some reason. I don't know why. It's just annoying. Huh. That wasn't too terrible. Okay, now it's just being annoying. So now because we have a uh, strong enough inspection feat, which I think you only need an inspection feat of one for this particular event, we can uh, see that there's an item sitting over here. Um, this first item right here is our lockpick. So that will come in quite handy throughout the game. Come down How here. the hell did you get Stay up here? Away from the windows. But I like oh, the windows. 
a bot. They're, uh... Christ, I was going to spare this shit till later. Damn. Uh, what is this shit? It's a bot. Well, uh, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, alright? Okay. Where does this path lead? The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. Tell me of the Jester Prince. He must be all smiles and gay and fun. No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. The Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. If not the sword... Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Nice wolf owl. <laughs> you guys have bad aim. Also have bad luck facing that Magilla Gorilla. Dumb frenzied Sabat bastards. Alright, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I shall invade this orifice, smiling Jack. Now we have our uh, quest log to tell us what to do. Currently, uh, we're caught in the middle of this Camarilla gathering being attacked by the Sabat. Let's go ahead and try to make our way out. And now we have our first lockpicking event. Sadly, the lockpicking event isn't very interactive. You just pick the door and that's, well, that's that. Not very amazing. Did I hear a little Jack chuckle? Oh, you! Jumping through the window. Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? My halo was terribly tarnished. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. Why need we hide our nature? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. I can do that? And it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. My eyes are beginning to open. Can I really outrun that 815 Sacramento train? Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. My mind is beginning to cloud. Shine a light and explain. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. <sighs> They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. These Camarilla are my comrades? Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. My minds have many opinions. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Paint me a picture, oh smiling Jack. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. Oh, how I do love sinning. I shall seek this key. So now we're being taught about the uh, area indicator. Basically, uh, the pistol there is going to be our combat, which means basically kill anything in your way. Um, the mask is a masquerade area, which means 
try not to let anyone know that you're a vampire. And then finally we have the E, the lovely flowery E, for asylum, or uh, Elysium, I believe it was called. Um, one way or another, it goes in that direction. And anyway, you can't use any uh, combat uh, items such as guns, melee weapons, and so forth, and you can't use any disciplines either. So, it kind of sucks. You can use blood, blah, uh, blech, blood buff to lockpick things, though. Anyways, I basically explained everything it was going to say. 